okay so we'll proceed next we have uh, yesterday also we discussed uh, that uh, robotics basically comprises of various core areas like mechanical electrical basically it has four modules independent modules One is mechanical engineering another is uh, electrical electronics or before that it i should say whatever when sequence doesn't matter it may be computer science engineering then there is general science also general science will have physics and uh, uh, mathematics predominant mathematics is very important so in mechanical regime we will have kinematics so in kinematics we basically deal with the motion of the robot arm and without considering the forces so motion position and orientation right these are the three words uh, what do you understand uh, by position and orientation are they same thing or they are different like suppose you have this human hand and uh, this, there is a, there is one object right my robotic arm is here and this is the position of the object at present this is the position but the orientation of the object at the same position can be different right so why both the things are important because if we want to grab this object then we have to move first the robotic arm should understand what is the position so we can reach the position but if the orientation is like this then we will grab it like this but if the orientation is like this then we have to maybe uh, twist our uh, wrist like this and if the orientation is like this then again we have to make some adjustment we have to grab it like this so depending on the orientation the kinematics of uh, robotic arm is decided right so both uh, position and orientation are required i'll just get again uh, back to the previous slide you can see this wrist up to the wrist in your hand also now up to the wrist your arm is responsible for the position but the orientation basically is uh, majorly decided by the by your wrist right so orientation work can be done by your wrist but up to the wrist it will be the position so next we have dynamics uh, dynamics will be including the information about the force we require to move a linear joint or in case of rotary joint it will be torque so we'll discuss these linear joint and rotary joint later on so in case of uh, linear joint you will uh, be calculating the forces and in case of uh, rotary joint you will be calculating the torque because if we want to lift a weight then we know what force we have to apply or what what torque the motor has to apply so that we can lift that job and uh, sensing is the third part of the mechanical engineering which uh, actually is collecting the information from the environment with the help of the um, sensors yeah internal sensor and external sensor though sensing this is a part of electrical also electronics also but uh, because uh, basically robots were previously driven by the mainly the mechanical this thing like we had uh, gears and bell drives and chains so that's why the sensing part has been kept in the mechanical portion right but nowadays those sensors which we are using are they are mostly electrical or electronics right so that is a different thing the next very important module is computer science computer science nowadays plays a very very important role because we want to make our robot intelligent so we need to do programming we need to make decisions so computer science is very very important so in computer science we deal with the motion planning and motion planning means uh, the course of action of the motion of the robot or the roboting arm or whatever the end effector how the end effector will be moving that motion planning has to be done and that is done by the um, uh, some by using some of the motion planning uh, algorithms so computer science is very very important yesterday also we saw that video of amazon amazon robots right so 3000 robots were uh, running parallelly on the shop floor or the warehouse and uh, there was no collision as such right so all this motion planning path planning requires some standard algorithms are there again these algorithms are of two types one are the standard old day algorithms which are very much mathematical and today's uh, latest software based algorithms are also there so these things we'll learn later on next is artificial intelligence so this comes to the decision making decision making means we want to develop the suitable brain of the robot so that uh, uh, a, a robot is actually intelligent it can make decisions by its own it can uh, adjust according to the ch changing circumstances or the situations right uh, make the decision on the spot uh, like we have the application of ro vision computer vision is there and you know, yesterday also we saw the example of that driver which can be um, made alert if if he is feeling sleepy or the robots moving on the roads 
and so on right so computer science is again a very very important part basically nowadays it is more important because more uh, our robots have moved very uh, far away from the industrial robot to now we are getting into the social robot so computer science is very very important because those algorithms and architecture is very important next very important part without which we actually can't uh, drive the robot nowadays are electrical and electronics part so all the now suppose you uh, want to perform a particular task and whatever motion uh, planning algorithm that has been taken care by the computer science people has taken some decision and the decision has been communicated to the drive unit and those instructions are now to be executed so to do this what we do is at each of these robotic joints we use some motors or actuators and generally we use dc motors and to control these motors there should be some controller uh, so definitely robot should have one control architecture and uh, control scheme should be there and that control scheme should be executed to control these motors and actuators uh, so that the joints and links can be moved and positioned or oriented and perform the task whatever task that uh, robot has designed for so these control schemes and its uh, hardware implementation come under the purview of this electrical and electronics engineering right so again this is a very very important part because we won't be able to run the robots without the help of electrical and electronics engineers next one more we have uh, we have general science so general science uh, we have uh, physics and mathematics so basically uh, to develop a robot we should have good uh, knowledge about this general science also like physics and mathematics because we have to use very frequently the basic knowledge of physics and mathematics to develop and design the robot and also um, uh, this knowledge is required if you are uh, designing some sensors if you are developing some suitable sensors for your uh, robot right so these are few of the four uh, modules that uh, comprises um, of robotics and uh, all four are important that's why this is uh, this field is multidisciplinary so basically what i wish to make you understand that uh, not everyone can learn all the things right the computer science engineer should be uh, should master their own skills uh, whatever are required uh, for robotics similarly the electrical electronics uh, people can master their skills which are uh, related to controls and actuators similarly mechanical can master about the kinematics dynamics designing the robot the structure so everybody has to come together and then team has to be built to build a robot right 